Ben, what do you think? Was Solar City critical hey. to Tesla's success? Hey, Emily, uh, thanks for having me on. I, I think looking back on it now, uh, and there was a lot of controversy, I think, first of all, we have to remember that he recused himself from voting in the shares. Um, and even though he was a chairman, he did recuse himself. And, and second of all, I, I think it's pretty interesting that he did take the stand in this world's environment. Uh, today, most CEOs, I think, would have passed on that. Now, looking back, 2016, uh, Tesla did, uh, Tesla Energy did about $300 million of revenue. We forecast about $3 billion. So in five years, $300 million to $3 billion. So I think it was a good choice. Now, there's batteries involved in that. There's solar involved in it. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, uh, pretty uh, spectacular growth over that time frame. Now, we spoke to Dan Ives of Wedbush yesterday. He thinks this whole deal is one of the biggest black eyes on Tesla and Elon Musk that the company has seen. You know, of course, Elon has made a lot of risky moves, and many of them have paid off. But he doesn't believe this one did. How would you respond to that? Yeah, I was down in the trenches, uh, you know, during during this, I covered uh, both stocks. I think I was the only analyst, maybe one of the only analysts covering both stocks. And I think that, you know, the integration uh, had a lot of question marks for, for people out there about, uh, you know, cross ownership between the two companies. I think going just back to the numbers, though, $300 million to $3 billion. And then also the leadership that they've shown uh, the five years, uh, you know, five years ago, they made this choice to move into the energy business. Now we're hearing the likes of uh, VW to Stellantis to, uh, to to GM going into batteries, going into solar. And so, again, this is a, a, a situation where, uh, you know, Musk was uh, several years ahead of, of the competition. Now, interesting color from the courtroom. There were some Tesla fans, Elon Musk fans, in the courtroom <laughs> itself. You know, uh, look, there's a potential risk he has to pay upwards of $2 billion if he loses his suit. This is a suit that the board had settled and he felt so strongly about he wanted to go to court anyway. You know, what is the likelihood that he loses and has to pay up? And if he does have to pay up, how big a deal is that? Yeah, I, I, I can't comment on the case, um, you know, uh, an ongoing case like this uh, uh, outside of my, uh, uh, my pay grade there. So then what do you think, you know, looking at the future of Tesla more broadly? Of course, we've got earnings coming up and, you know, he's in the middle of this. Does it matter? Um, does Tesla just keep soaring or, you know, I know you have an outperform on the stock. What do you think the future is? Well, I think the energy business continues to grow. Uh, you know, obviously it's a smaller base uh, uh, off, off of the energy business than the, uh, the car business. But I do think this is a situation where, you know, Tesla with its currency, its, uh, its market cap, uh, you know, at the time, uh, Solar City was a, a $3 billion company, $3, $4 billion company which is you know, somewhat of a rounding error to Tesla at this time. Uh, I, I don't want to minimize the, the, how big of a business it is, uh, but I think the growth there is, is, uh, is a very key to the overall um, uh, infrastructure that Tesla's trying to build out for, the, for its EVs and uh, for renewables. Uh, and I do think that uh, you know, the, the acquisition of SolarCity accelerated that uh, and having that service business has helped it sell more equipment, uh, help brand, uh, uh, get the brand out more and more awareness. Uh, and so overall, I think it was a good choice at the right time.